Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. If you did not already know, I'm going through a declutter series here. I was using the Conroy method for pretty much my entire house. I did my clothes, my kitchen, my laundry room, my decorations, all kinds of stuff. And now we're finally in the makeup category. I was putting this off for so long. Let me tell you, I did not want to get rid of my makeup. I just, I love it. So I already went through all of my eye products and I will link my declutter series down in the description below if you want to watch any of those. And today we are going to be doing complexion products. So I have foundations and concealers and primers and powders. Um, I have some samples in here as well. So we're going to be going through all of these and I will let you know which ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm getting rid of. So I have a few products that I use almost daily. So I'm going to show you those guys. So these are the ones that I, you know, just took out of my everyday makeup collection. This is my Max Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NW10. And this is honestly the only foundation that I have ever found that is actually light enough for my skin tone which is really annoying. So I'm gonna be holding on to this guy and continuing my search to find a foundation that is light enough for me. So if you guys know of any foundations that is a dupe or even honestly lighter than Max NW10, please let me know, please, because I wanna find more options. Also, ones that are good for dry skin because I have dry skin. Keeping this one, if you didn't already guess that. Next up we have my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Fair. And I actually do like this one. This one is almost an exact match for my skin type. Don't mind my other swatches. I just filmed the rest of my eye declutter series. Um, see it's very pink and very pale. Can you see it? It matches my skin pretty well. I'm gonna be keeping this and it is almost gone so I actually need to get a replacement. I hardly ever go through these products, so this is a big accomplishment for me. Then we have the Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream in L1 Neutral, which I believe is the lightest shade. And like, look at that. It's almost the same color as my table here, which is pure white. So I'm going to be keeping this guy. This one is really good for highlighting areas. So like I'll put it underneath my eyes and stuff like that. Um, definitely a little bit light for my actual skin tone, like to cover blemishes and stuff, but it's perfect for highlighting. And this is, again, the only concealer that I found that's actually lighter than my skin tone, so I can actually like lighten my under eye circles. I think that I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. I think my sister-in-law actually uses this one. This is the color Ivory 10, which again, I think is the lightest shade. And I think it's just a little bit dark and a little bit yellow for me. Yeah, look at that. That's quite a bit different. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Um, it actually works pretty well for dry skin. It's a little bit um, radiant. So I've been using this one. I got it in a sample, I think in Sephora Play and it's about halfway gone. I'm going to be continuing using that. Something I am definitely getting rid of is this CoverGirl Pressed Powder in 105 Ivory. This is really, really, really old. Um, and I had to repress it because it shattered at some point. I'm gonna be tossing this. It's just really old and broken and I don't use powder because I'm very dry. I have also this banana powder by Ofra. I got it in a subscription box, maybe BoxyCharm. I don't use banana powder partially because I'm too pink. It just looks funky and partially because I'm dry skinned and so powders don't work well with me. I have a couple samples. Um, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I might even like this. I don't know if it's for dry or oily skin or whatever, but I would probably need Fair Beige, and the lightest color here is Fair Light Honey, which is definitely too dark for me. So I'm gonna pass this on, and hopefully someone else can find their shade. More foundations. I have a couple of this Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. Why am I keeping this? This is in Nine Natural. I don't know why I'm keeping this. I thought I was going to try it out. Nine neutral, that's too dark for me. I would be in like whatever one is. So I'm going to pass that on. This one, however, this is the Guerlain Lingerie de Pou, de Pou. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that even remotely right, but it's in the shade 02 neutral light, which might be light enough for me. So I'm going to give that one a shot. I really hope I don't like it because it's Guerlain, so it's expensive. And then I have a sample of the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, Matte Plus Poreless in 115 Ivory, and then I think that's probably the lightest shade. 
uh, ivory is usually the lightest. I'm gonna actually see if they have lighter shades because if they do, then this isn't gonna work for me, but otherwise I'll hold on to it. Last sample for now, this is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Um, I'm gonna give this a shot. I don't know much about it, so I figured I would, you know, try it out. This foundation I actually did a review of quite a long time ago. This is the Clean Color Supernatural Liquid Foundation in one vanilla, way too dark for me. I was originally saving this so I could try that NYX uh, white mix-in foundation to, you know, lighten up any foundations, but I just never got around to it. And I didn't love this, but I will link that review down below if you want to watch it. I also have this CoverGirl True Blend Foundation in L3 Natural Ivory. I think L1 and L2 were too yellow for me. And unfortunately, L3 is a little bit dark for me. Um, it w looks okay upon initial application, but it oxidizes a lot. So I only ever used this for filming because I would put it on and then I'd just take it off a couple hours later, which was frustrating. If I, you know, have a foundation, I want it to be something that I can use all the time. So I'm going to pass that along. I have this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in 110, which is creamy natural. And I must have gotten this in the summertime, even though I don't tan that much. <laughs> because I think they have a 105 which is also pinky I can't remember for sure um, but that one would probably be a better match for me let me see yeah see this one this Mac one is sometimes too dark for me like how sad is that so I think I'm probably just gonna pass this one along I've probably had it for too long too this is a year and I don't I think I've had it longer than that yeah it smells funky I'm just gonna toss this guy then I have a bunch of primers <laughs> that I know I'm getting rid of First off, I keep getting samples of this Smashbox Photo Finish um, primer, and it doesn't work well on me. It's a silicone-based primer, and those just make the foundation fall off. I don't know. I think it's because I have dry skin, but it doesn't work for me, so I'm going to pass this along. I don't even think that I've opened or used any of these because I've had samples of it in the past, including like little foil packets. So I am just going to stick this in my giveaway box and give it away to somebody eventually. This is a Mary Kay Signature eye primer. Darcy. Um, I've definitely had this for a long time. I'm just gonna trash this. I think I got it before my wedding, so garbage. Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. This is, it has a similar texture to Benefit Professional. A little bit tinted, a little bit of that like silky smooth finish, so doesn't work for me. I'm gonna pass it along. This is the e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter. I will actually swatch it for you. I think I've had it for really too long to um, keep. I should probably probably should um, throw it away. And this is in light glow, by the way. So the concealer is actually almost the exact same shade as that Superstay Better Skin Concealer. And then the highlight, I don't know. I, I know I didn't love it, but I can't exactly remember why. I just think it didn't work like super well. But anyways, I'm gonna be getting rid of this. It's just not my favorite product. I got this concealer in a boutique unboxing. Um, it's definitely too dark for me. I swatched it to see. Let me see if I can swatch it again. I mean, if this is too dark for me, like, that's way too dark for me. That's gonna get passed along. This is the Urban Doll Kiss Velvet Skin Triple BB Cream. I swatched it right here, and I don't know if you guys can see, it's too dark for me. It's too yellow for me. It's actually kind of olive tinted, but not my skin tone. So I'm going to be passing this along. I don't remember there being anything wrong with the product. I just, it didn't look good on me. So I have this Pixie by Petra Flawless Beauty Primer. Um, again, I believe this is a little bit silicone-y for me. No, it's not silicone-y. I think I just didn't like that it was tinted, but I knew I didn't like it. So um, I'm going to pass this one along as well. I don't really use primer that often either. Really the only one that I found that I like is that um, Becca Backlit Priming Filter. Yeah, I got the name right. <laughs> Killing it. Okay, then I have this Pores No More by Dr. Brandt. Again, similar to the Benefit Professional. Just has that silicone like tinted pore filling texture, which I don't love, so gonna get rid of that. I also have a couple samples of Benefit Professional, which I'm going to pass along. I have this 
concealer which is in the shade apricot beige but I have no idea what brand it is any um any guesses again too yellow for me it's a little bit pinker but it's still too yellow this one right there I had this Ben Nye cream foundation which I had for drama in high school and I had it in the shade rice paper which I think is too dark for me I don't know why this was my shade um, I'm gonna swatch it though <laughs> that looks crazy dark I don't know how that was even remotely my shade it probably wasn't. I probably looked horrible. This is gonna go in the trash because it's really old. And then I don't think anything else needs swatches, which is good because my hand is a little bit full. And I didn't even think I was gonna be swatching anything in this video, so I guess I proved myself wrong. Another Benefit Professional sample. That's gonna go. This is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular CC Cream. I didn't like this. I think it was really, really sticky feeling on my skin. And it's tinted. I don't know that it has a color though. I didn't see one on here. So anyways, I'm gonna pass that along. It just, it didn't work for my skin type. Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. Again, this is probably not something I'm gonna like considering I don't like other pore filling products. So I'm gonna pass that along. And then I have a few powders. I'm just gonna pull all of those out right now. I have the City Color HD Powder. First, let me preface this by saying I don't use powders. Like I just don't powder products aren't my thing they look cakey on me I don't need them because I'm not oily so I'm probably gonna be passing all these along definitely the city color HD powder definitely the your mineral Sweden powder then I have the Tarte smooth operator powder and the Mary Kay translucent loose powder so I'm probably gonna be getting rid of at least one of them I think I've had the Mary Kay one for longer so I'm gonna pass that guy along getting get rid of that and then I guess I'll keep the tart one because I do occasionally like baking my under eyes and it's nice sometimes if I'm gonna be doing like a smoky eye to put it underneath my eyes and then brush it all away so if there's any fallout then this takes care of that so I'm gonna keep just the one and then I have a couple other products I have this milk makeup sunshine oil not positive what it's for, but I got it not too long ago. I think it's like a, just like a face oil to keep your skin, you know, moisturized. And that I do need. This Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops in Radiance. I think you're supposed to mix this with your foundation and it's uh, glowy. And also, I think this would be good for dry skin. So I'm going to keep both of those guys. Also, I got those in a uh, pack recently. And then a Cover FX illuminating primer okay maybe i do want to swatch this this might be good for dry skin i don't know i don't know that i've used it i've been working my way through the becca one. Oh yeah this one actually feels like it might be good for dry skin it feels not silicone-y and it feels kind of moisturizing okay i'm gonna hold on to that guy and that is everything yeah that's everything and i'm getting rid of way more than i'm keeping so let me show you really quickly what i am keeping and then I'll show you what I'm getting rid of. So I'm only keeping this. One foundation, a couple concealers, a couple primers, a powder, and then like two little samples that I'm going to give a shot, which I don't know if I'm actually going to end up liking. But that's what I'm keeping for now. And then everything else is getting passed along or thrown in the trash. So these things, all, all of this, I think is probably still good to be passed on to somebody who would use it more than I would, but tons of primers, tons of concealers, tons of powders, um, a couple foundations. I'm not gonna use any of this, so I'm gonna pass it along. And then I'm getting rid of throwing away um, a couple foundations, including a powder foundation. So, all right, that is everything for my complexion product declutter i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe i would love for you to stick around and continue watching me in my very difficult <laughs> declutter journey this one wasn't so hard for me i'm not super attached to my complexion products but just wait till lipsticks if you think eyeshadows was tough for me just wait till you get to lipsticks i'm gonna have such a hard time with that anyways that is gonna be it for me today i hope you enjoyed and until next time i'll see you all very soon bye